Hello friends, this is Kyle from Genki Gamers and today we're going to go over the best perks for each item so that you know which perks to get when you see them in the shop. It can be tough to know if the cool new perk you see in the shop is worth spending your hard earned gold on or if you'll see a better one in the future, so hopefully this guide will help you out. Remember that although perks can get pretty expensive, they can always be taken off your item at a relatively low cost to move it to a better version of that item down the road. In other words, the perks you buy now can be used forever, so keep that in mind when deciding to buy a perk. Now there's a lot of items to go over, so I'm going to try and quickly get through the list, but feel free to leave any questions you have in the comments below. Let's get started with the weapons. For all the weapons, I rank the perks based on which would give you the highest average damage per hit. However, critical hits deal double damage, which may be enough to take someone out by surprise and win you the game so it's very situational to know what perk is the best in each game. In terms of average damage, the best perk for the cannon, blast cannon, and explosive cannon is the cannon damage perk. These weapons all have a very low base critical hit chance, so adding critical chance and critical damage perks aren't as effective. On the other hand, the sniper cannon has much better scaling with critical hits. The best perk to use on a sniper is the sniper cannon critical hit chance perk, which can only be used on the sniper cannon and gives a higher percentage chance than the regular cannon critical hit chance perk. For the carronade, use the carronade damage perk. For the grenade launcher, use the fire grenades perk which increases the chance of setting your opponents on fire. Setting them on fire does fire damage over time, similar to the fire bomb. All the mortars should be equipped with the mortar damage perk to deal the most damage possible. The best perk for torpedoes is torpedo speed, which will make it a lot easier to land them as your opponents have a smaller window to react when they see the torpedo coming. On the railgun, I would use the railgun damage perk to make every hit hurt even more. For the missile launcher, use the weapon damage perk which increases the damage of all weapons on the ship. For mines, use the mine damage perk. On the flare gun, napalm launcher, and firebomb, use the fire duration perk which keeps the damage over time effect lasting longer. Blue items. The standard shield and big shield are best with the shield defense perk, as it scales better with having a lot of health. Every point of defense reduces the damage you take by one damage for each shot that hits you. For the turbo, use the turbo effect perk which further increases its speed. Gear lube will use the turret rotation perk and rudder will use the rudder effect perk. For a bandage, use the repair boost perk which increases the healing the bandage will do. Yellow items. Overboost is best with the overboost duration perk to maximize the time that the overboost is active. On a nitro, use the nitro cooldown perk to ensure that you have your nitro up when you really need it. For the tesla bolt, use the stun duration perk, and for the tesla shield, use the shield duration perk. Lastly, for the frost blaster and frost launcher, use the freeze duration perk which increases how long the freezing effect lasts. Green items. Moving on to the green healing items, it is best to use the repairing boost perk that increases the amount that these items can heal. Cooldown may not be as useful because you often can't use your items the moment it's off cooldown anyways. That's all for today, I've created a list of all the perks I have found in a reddit post that I will link in the description below. If you haven't already, subscribe for more battle day videos. Bye friends!